Hello and welcome to Transformation Now from SoaringHigher.rocks. And we have an amazing program for you today about uh, triumphing through transitions and literally walking a life of miracles um, with our guest speaker today as she's manifesting her goals and her dreams in, in real life, in reality. And our goal every week is to provide you with really good, meaty information, programs, inspiration, uh, some very good tools and techniques that you can actually start using yourself. And so we have some very inspirational programs for you that are coming up. Uh, I'm Rita Rockercraft, and I'm an international author and a speaker and consultant. Also the founder and producer and host of Transformation Now. So I want to welcome you today. And this is my um, co-partner here, Carmelita, and she's going to take over today because this is a transformational program and she will be our interpreter for uh, the program with Paola. Hi everyone, my name is Carmelita de la Guardia, co-host today, and I founded the Women's International in the 90s, and I'm a music artist and also translator here in Omaha, and today I want to uh, present Hola, Art, mucho gusto. Paola Alvarado. Gracias, mucho gusto. Gracias por invitarme. She's very happy to be here today and, and thank you for inviting her. Estoy muy feliz por estar con ustedes hoy aquí y compartirles un poco de lo que ha sido mi historia. And today I'll tell you my story. Sí. Bueno, mi nombre es Paola Alvarado. Soy artista del dibujo. My name is uh, Paola Alvarado, Alvarado and I am a artist of, of design. Abarco toda técnica de dibujo desde lápiz, desde grafito hasta tinta en aerosol, que es el graffiti. So she does graffiti art. Sí, um, soy de Honduras. And she's from Honduras. Eh, vivía en la, radico de la colonia Las Pilas, en Choloma Cortés, un pequeño departamento de Honduras. A small province in Honduras is where she's from. Sí, um, Aquí en esta pequeña comunidad hay un lugar que se llama Centro de Alcance, que es uh, un centro de ayuda a jóvenes, donde los capacitamos para ser mucho mejor persona. So she was involved in this group, which is USAID, USAID sí. in Honduras, where it's uh, many uh, young kids would go to learn about different um, uh, arts and, and uh, manual arts as well and uh, uh, different like educative uh, systems. Así, inculcamos valores y virtudes a los jóvenes. So of course this gave them something to live for because so many things in, in Honduras in this area is, is where um, so many people are uh, unable to because they, they don't have the means. Para que puedan ser mucho mejor personas y puedan ayudar a los demás de la misma manera en que nosotros los ayudamos a ellos. So, and they all help each other try to, to stay focused on positive ideas. Um, ahí fui voluntaria cinco años ayudando a muchos jóvenes, enseñándoles diferentes uh, manualidades, diferentes trabajos para que ellos puedan desenvolverse. She helped five years doing this work there with this USAID. Sí. Um, el voluntariado del que hacíamos era um, de tiempo libre, era de la manera de que si usted quería hacer algo, lo hacía de, desde su corazón, sin recibir nada a cambio. Sí, and everything was from the heart. Everybody had like three times to, to share uh, their stories with each other, and this kept them going. I mean, it was a daily, daily time of, of get together with, with the kids. Simplemente con la satisfacción de Saber de qué ayudaste a lo demás, creo que es, es, eso es el, 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 lo que te regalan. Eso es con lo que tú te quedas, con la satisfacción de saber que ayudaste a los demás. And the satisfaction that helping these children to get to where they were going to be so, so much better off. Sí, en la colonia donde vivía siempre la manteníamos muy decorada. Siempre pintábamos todas las paredes con los jóvenes de la comunidad. So as far as the graffiti work that she did, everything was all done in, with positive words, like in all, the, all through the city. Yo toda mi vida me he dedicado al arte. Siempre me ha gustado um, sacarle una sonrisa a los demás con mi trabajo. She's always loved art. So it was always 
trying to uh, uh, design something with, with happy, happy faces. And sí, y pues ahora estoy aquí en este país y le doy muchísimas gracias a Dios por permitirme estar aquí. And now I'm here in this beautiful country of the United States and I, I thank God for giving me the chance to come to this country. I have a question. Yes. Um, how did she see these happy things affect people's lives considering, which is awesome, considering uh, the trials they were going through? Um, did she, you know, did people comment about how it changed their life, the, how they were affected because of the beauty that she drew? Puedes decir cómo la, la gente se, cómo recibieron todo el, el afecto que, como que, que, que es, uh, como una explicación, cómo ellos uh, se comportaron después. ¿De dónde, dónde están es la, los niños que, que estabas enseñando ahora? ¿Están, ¿Qué están haciendo? La mayoría de ellos os, se convirtieron voluntarios también. Así de la misma manera en que nosotros les ayudamos, ellos también empezaron a ayudar a los demás. Y algunos están trabajando ya eh, profesionalmente en de los talleres que nosotros les enseñamos. So many of those children, all those mm -hmm. that are involved in that today are either in professional life. Oh, so, and that's wonderful. what, you know, the happiness that they've overcome, you know, many of the trials that... Through uh, the pictures. That, yes. Entonces nosotros como voluntarios, porque somos bastantes voluntarios, nos sentíamos muy felices al ver como ellos desarrollaban eso, eso, eso pequeño, ese granito que nosotros inculcábamos en ellos, cómo crecía, y ellos regaban eso para que pudiera crecer en ellos. So those seeds that they, they oh. placed with all okay. these children grew into, again, having these... Uh, uh, children as professionals in the community. So seeing her art really impact yeah. lives la, for the rest of their lives. Y la arte de, de que estabas haciendo, ¿no? Y ahora, aquí en los Estados Unidos, ah, sí. ¿puedes decir algo que, como, ¿qué, qué quieres hacer Pu con el arte? Quiero, pues, yo sé que este país es un país grande y da muchas oportunidades. Entonces, yo sé que Dios me va a ayudar a que yo pueda desarrollar el talento que él me ha regalado. She knows that here in America she wants to develop the mm -hmm. art that she has and she wants to, you know, to go to be a successful uh, que como qué tipo de, de arte quieres hacer. Mm, siempre he soñado en ser una artista del dibujo, muy rec muy reconocida. So a famous artist basically this is what her dream is. Sí, uh, me gusta lo que es el retrato de las personas, dibujar retratos. She does beautiful portraits, let me tell you. And mm -hmm. then too, I think um, we do have a picture of her. It's an eye, which is fantastic. You can just, if you look at that eye, it, there's so much detail. Siempre, el ojo que, que existe. Sí. Sí. Siempre me ha gustado captar eso, uh, eso tan delicado de las personas, que el, uh, hace ver tan hermoso eso. So Tan anything that, that of features of, of the face of, of, of a portrait, actually, she says that's the most beautiful for her, all the sí. details. Yeah. Y pues, lastimosamente, estuve a punto de que mis sueños se, se murieran en el momento de mi accidente. So, and uh, I know it's very, she's very emotional about this, but when she came, um, it was only like four months Como cuatro meses, sí. nada más, coming here, and um, she had a terrible accident where her, her right arm was almost severed. And, uh, and I had the, the honor to, to meet this young lady uh, while my, you know, helping her in the translation at, at the hand therapy place. And um, anyway, uh, she noted that she can also write and design with your left Que puedes también hacer todo con la, la mano izquierda Claro ahora. que sí, porque uno nunca tiene que darse por vencido. Yes, no importa la circunstancia, la circunstancia yeah. por la que estemos pasando, siempre hay que buscar la manera de superarse. So, there's always a way to, to get out of, of the sadness, and I, I know she's very emotional about this, but she didn't think that she would be able to, to draw again, because she, she's right-handed. Estuvo a punto de perder mi brazo. Yes, almost, yes, she sí, almost. Y para una persona que ama tanto lo que hace es muy difícil, es un golpe when, muy fuerte. And when someone loves, but you know, when you love something that you, you're doing and, and that happens to you, you think that the world is too, 
comes to an end. So yes, and she's that. she's such a powerful example of that because I've seen people um, like one man whose legs were blown off in Vietnam and how he walked across the country on his you know hands basically and he entered a weightlifting championship and he lost the championship because he didn't have regulation clothing which included shoes. I've seen uh, you know people play guitars with their feet and I saw a lady who had no arm play the violin beautifully and so Paola is such a beautiful example of when something hits you really hard and it hurts and you wonder how am I going to go on from there you think of a lot of veterans too that are going through the PTSD but she God showed her a way he made a way he gifted her and um, she's an excellent example of okay what am I going to do now where do I go from here and now is doing beautiful work with her left hand as well so always know there's a way Amazing. to keep going que siempre es de seguir y no, no parar y siempre soñar. Y como dice mi mamá, después de la tormenta siempre viene la calma. Porque si no hubiese pasado por este accidente, no los hubiera conocido a ustedes. A Carmelita, que es una gran persona. She's saying that after the storm, there's calm. This is her mother's saying to her all oh. the time. And she says she's just so grateful to be here with us and I would have never met such wonderful women like who and yes. yeah. so it's 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 so uh, um, que podemos hay más que quieres uh, decir claro que sí okay. um, she has more to say yo aconsejo a todas las personas que no se den por vencidas que luchen hasta el final van a venir pruebas a nuestras vidas porque vienen pruebas pero si confiamos en Dios, todo podemos superar, porque Dios es el que nos da la fortaleza para seguir adelante. Y lo que Él nos ha dado, nadie nos lo puede quitar. She's saying that whenever there's trials that come to, to our, on different situations in our lives, she says, never give up. Because if I would have given up, I would have been in, in, you know, not in a very good place. So she says, continue doing what you love and, and always have God there is your guide yes it's a it's a passion in her heart she was gifted with that she knew she was gifted with that Carmelita is gifted in her her music and her translating and God's gifted me in speaking in books and things like that and so so many times things like that like her accident come along and they try to destroy us and and um, put us down and say forget it you can't do it now but this uh, again Paola is an excellent example of you we pick ourselves up we get back in the race we keep going and just, you know, ask God, what can I do now? Show me the next steps to do to go forward. And so now she's able to bless other people and will continue to bless other people with her, her beautiful work. And the, it, the lives that she's impacted, not only when she was on Honduras, which is massive, and you'll see some of those pictures, but also what she can do now impacting lives uh, with the people in America to um, really get down, do it, don't be discouraged. I can see her beautiful work going into um, a, a lot of facilities, maybe even where people really need to be encouraged to have new life. And she's giving new life to people by her artwork. I think that's awesome. Sí, que la, la, el arte que estás haciendo le, le da vida a todas las personas que están mirando tratando de, de entender qué que que, que estás haciendo ¿no? con el arte. ¿Hay otra cosa que quieres decir? Sobre todo, nunca dejemos de ayudar a los demás, porque tarde o temprano eso se devuelve, y en gran manera. So, it all comes back. When you do good, always you get positive back. Sí. ¿Qué más que podemos decir al público? Seamos un testimonio, seamos un testimonio para ayudar a los demás, que lo, todo el sufrimiento por el que hemos pasado, que sea palabras de aliento para los demás. This is everything that we, we go through, is, there's always positive for all those out there. So I continue doing and I will always do the, the best for, to help others. Y que los demás vean que si yo pude, ¿por qué ellos no? If I can do it, you can do it, she says. So what are some of the next steps that she plans to do in her, her plan to move forward? 
¿qué quieres hacer ahora? Ahora que esté aquí en los Estados Unidos, ¿qué más quieres hacer? Yo ah. sé que quieres ya seguir en, en los diseños de, de ser uh, famosa, ¿no? Quieres, uh, mm. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo quieres hacer eso? Tienes que aprender el español y digo el inglés, ¿no? Inglés. So, sí, eso está en mis planes. Her next plan is to learn English, because that's, you know, she wants to learn. Yes. Sí. So then from there, then she'll continue doing her studies in, in art and, and uh, eventually teach as well. Para enseñar a la gente también el arte, ¿no? ¿Qué sí. quieres hacer eso? So, Pienso yeah. hacer mucho más dibujos, recuperarme un poco más de mi brazo y recuperar un poco más la técnica para poder hacer uh, unas cuantas obras y poder mostrárselas a las personas. As far as her, she needs to recuperate for mm -hmm. another six more months, actually, six months, about mm -hmm. six more months before she'll be able to completely go out and, and do it like she used to do it. But she's doing great now, so what, what are we talking about? You know, this, is, todo con this esta is the mano. best I've seen. I, I, it's very impressive, I mean, the things that she says. And also, too, you do um, uh, cosmetic art, too. Oh, she's sí. also a cosmetologist. Sí, también. And también me, me llama too, bastante la... Eh, en Honduras era maestra de maquillaje. So she, she taught that in, in Honduras y de barbería. Well, cosmetology and also sí. to cut hair. Enseñaba yeah. gratuitamente a yes. jóvenes. Yes, so she even taught others that were at the center, this USA Aid uh, Center, uh, cosmetology and uh, uh, cutting hair. Tenía yeah. el club de graffiti. And then the, the club, graffiti club that she was part of. Sí. Uh, enseñaba macramé de hacer pulseras, aritos, cadenas. So she got into the manual art as well as, as making jewelry, uh, macramé. So, it's all sí, también therapy. dábamos, también yes. dábamos charlas motivacionales a los jóvenes. Les enseñábamos a cómo desarrollar sus sueños de su vida, de cómo, cómo emprenderlos y cómo hacerlos realidad. So as far as, uh, Again, going back to when she was there, she kept on, uh, um, you know, giving them positive thoughts to continue in their dreams. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué but then an decir? educational piece too, right? Mm -hmm. She's teaching them yes. how to cut hair, how to look nice, um, and how to have a craft, uh, something like you said, creating jewelry, right? Mm -hmm. She made jewelry, or they, she taught them how to do jewelry. Macrame is the one that she was saying. And, uh, ¿Qué más uh, podemos decir? Que, dime. Pues, Háblame, ¿qué, qué más? Um, que lo del arte siempre lo vamos a mantener en pie, primeramente Dios. Nos vamos a superar en esto y siempre vamos a seguir ayudando a los demás porque es lo que nos hace sentirnos bien, ¿verdad? Bueno, en mi caso me hace sentirme bastante bien poder ayudar a los demás y decirles que todo va a estar bien, que... Que tengan okay. paz y confianza mm -hmm. y fe en Dios. The most important thing is that giving, because it makes you feel good when you help someone, and to always have faith in God and never, never stop on, on your dreams. That's what I really have to do a lot of is, is giving, um, because when we give, we get back. You know, we reap what we sow, and um, she's doing that too. But you'll notice, even if we have one profession, one, one goal, one thing that we do, how God can use this and how we can branch out. Um, like Monica had talked about um, all of these things that, that she does to impact lives. And like Paola, she's not only doing graffiti, she's teaching other people art skills. She's teaching other people how to look nice um, and teaching them how to do jewelry and things where they can learn a craft and then they can go out and also grow their business and, and have a business. So. She's not only doing her art, but she's spreading her life around in a way that is impacting many lives personally, many lives professionally. And um, I want you all to think about that. Even though you have one particular job, what are all the things you can do to really branch out from there and impact lives, maybe all over the world? With internet now, you can do it. Okay. Uh, Rita dijo que todo que, que, que estás uh, diciendo, todo que las cosas que enseñando a todos los niños y así que pueden también ellos ir en, en el mundo, ayudar a todos ellos con el mismo amor que usted 
le, le di mucho tiempo, ¿no? Y digo, mucha, uh, la pasión de, del arte, ahí es todos los alumnos, todos los niños, todos los amigos que, que tienen allá. Y um, cómo podemos, uh, uh, qué quieres más decir a, al público? Creo que solamente. Ay, sí. Sí. Vamos. Que okay. it's been a, a pleasure to have pa Paula here, and um, I think that um, I can't wait to see what um, she will bring to to the city of Omaha because she continues doing this art here, and uh, we'll see more more about what uh, her passion is. It's her plan too with the art in the city to get involved with the city, or you know how we have the murals on some of the buildings yes. now. Yes, I I believe so because I mentioned that to her. So um, once that she starts uh, learning her English, she'll be able to market herself more. So I, I know that's uh, the success that she wants to take it out to the city or to the world, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And that reminds me of the the Facebook because she has a Facebook page. Does that have examples of her designs? Yes, in your Facebook and el Facebook que tienes. The, I design your saya, no? Sí. Yes. Yes, you'll be able to see y, her designs on Facebook. Yes. Y casi siempre paso compartiendo de mensajes positivos a la así a las personas, imágenes con frases motivacionales. So, motivational types of, of mm -hmm. designs, uh, art pieces, art uh, that she'll be uh, mm -hmm. sharing with others. Sí. So, I would in, just encourage you too if you see if you go to her website and you see uh, pictures Maybe you want um, something like that in your home, uh, maybe for your building or, uh, you know, in, in the city or even corporate world. I'm going to throw that in there. I haven't asked her about that yet. But, you know, companies a lot of times, too, want a portrait of something. Um, and we know it's graffiti that's beautiful graffiti and it impacts people's lives. You know, people who are in the corporate world could also contact her about um, doing a beautiful uh, graffiti mural for them. And um, it's going to be personal. It's going to be a bright spot in the company. It's, it's going to be something that would really motivate them. So I would encourage you to look at her work, see what she does, know how much she affects people's lives, not only corporately, but personally, and um, give her a call. Todo que hemos hablado ahora que ellos pueden um, hablar contigo o con, contactar, digo, con el Facebook, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Y si hay <coughs> ideas que aquí en la ciudad de Omaha, ellos también como cosas de, para una oficina o un lugar donde toda la gente puede ver su arte. So, Está bien. Está bien. Sí, perfectamente so bien. She would love that, so, yes, it would be wonderful. Sí. So, I, I think that, um, you know, it's been a, a pleasure to, I continue doing her, her hand therapy, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have, what, six more months. I say Mrs. Mas. So I'll learn more about Paola's success. And we can also, you know, give you updates, new things, as well as checking out on her website. So we encourage you to go to that. And um, I just want to encourage viewers, you know, take uh, what she has said and what she's done and what she's been through to heart because she had a really, really, really rough life over in Honduras and when we have things that knock us down and, and you know keep us down just remember you can rise above that you can go forward you can um, achieve those goals that are really in your heart the things and that's what she's done will continue to do so when those negative tapes come in and maybe try to discourage you and say oh you can't do this it's too hard how are you going to get there you don't have the money you don't have whatever it is or maybe you're hurt right now and you can't no those are not good excuses. God's always in you. He's empowering you. He's giving you all the strength that you need. So we want to encourage you to go forward, remember her story. And um, we just thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.